Today, I'm going to show you how to create Y2K shapes in Adobe Illustrator. Hopefully, enjoy. Let's get straight into the video. The first shape we're going to create in the most popular Y2K shape is a sparkle. You want to first select on the ellipse tool, hold shift and drag. And from here, you want to go to effect, distort and transform, pucker and bloat. And you want to go into the negatives towards pucker. So around 60% is where I see a really good shape. And once we're done, we're going to press OK. We're going to copy and paste this sparkle and we're going to make smaller ones and just place it around. You'll usually see something like this on a graphic. And if you select them, you can drag them, make them skinnier, make them taller. And if you want to create outlines for them or invert the colors, you can go over to window appearance where it says stroke, make this a higher stroke. And where it says fill, select none or this white box with a red line through it. So the stroke is white right now, so we're going to change it to black. So now we have the outlines of the sparkles and you can do the same method of adjusting the stroke and fill for the other shapes I show you in this tutorial. Next, we're gonna create crescents, halos, and Y2K circles using the same method. So we're gonna use the ellipse tool once again, and you wanna drag and make a circle right here. You wanna copy and paste the circle and make it slightly smaller. Now I'm gonna lift the top up a little bit and lift the bottom up a little bit. And now, just based off the outlines, you can see it's a sort of halo. And if we highlight both of these, go over to window pathfinder, You'll see these options right here. So I'm going to select minus front, which will basically delete the shape that's on top from the bottom shape. So if we press it right here, you can see we just removed that top shape that we created, the smaller circle, and we created a halo. And you can create a lot of different assets by doing this. You can, for example, rotate this and place one of the sparkles in between. This is a very popular asset you typically see. Or you can place a star right here. That's another popular thing you'll see. Next, we're going to create a crescent using the same method. So we're going to create a circle. We're going to create another circle. So we're just copy and paste it. So you want to make this circle slightly smaller. And now you can see this sort of like crescent shape right here forming on the left side. And you just want to move it around until you find the right shape. So if we highlight both, you can see the crescent on the left side. I'm going to highlight both and press shape modes minus front and here we have this crescent shape and you can do the same thing as we did right here and we can just copy and paste the star maybe put it right here if you're enjoying this video you might like the y2k asset pack that i made with over 60 different vectors similar to the ones i show in this video use code youtube for 10 percent off link in the description we can also do a very similar thing with shooting stars so if we create an oval and copy and paste the same oval so here I just overlapped one circle on top of another and I'm going to go and select the shape mode once again. And now we have this cool shape. So there's one or two things you could do right here. You can copy and paste this and rotate it. So rotating it will just create like a sort of circle. You'll usually see text between these or what you can also do is copy and paste this and place a star right here. So now we have a shooting star. The last one we're going to make is stars. So I already showed you how you can integrate stars with the other methods, but if you want to create specifically stars, you can just select on the star tool. So here we have a star. And if you hold command on your keyboard for Mac, I believe it is alt for windows. You can see that these circles pop up. Basically it allows you to round the corners. So we can create a rounded star right here and we can copy and paste and go over to appearance and change the stroke of the star and make sure it's white. And now if you place this star inside another star, we have something cool like this, or you can do an opposite thing where the bigger shape has no fill. So here we're going to select no fill, but it has a stroke. So here we're going to add a stroke of black. And now we have another variation of the star by not really changing much. You can also create slanted stars. So if you create the star again and press E on our keyboard, E is the free transform tool. We can select the top point right here and move it right. So here we created an outline for the slanted star. You can also do a similar thing and hold command on your keyboard and create a rounded slanted star right here. And one thing you can do with all the shapes once again is you can place them over each other. And so right here we have a star and if we copy and paste it and change the stroke to something high like six and make it smaller, place it over. You can see we have this really cool effect right here. 
So right here, the sparkle has a stroke of four. So if we make it a little bit bigger and place it over, you can see that the stroke appears. And yeah, hopefully you enjoy this video. Make sure to check the playlist in the end screen for more illustrator tutorials just like this.